Good evening everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Paulo Salazar. The Bainbridge Decatur County Humane Society says its shelter is too crowded to take care of its 200 animals every day. WTXL ABC 27 Stephen G1 Mall was at the shelter today. Stephen, what is the Humane Society in need of? Paulo, the shelter has a number of needs, including a new van and a new facility. But with the city and county funding less than half of the shelter's operation costs, the group says coming up with the money to buy these things is difficult. These are some of the 120 dogs looking for a home. Cooped up with little fresh air, they're restless and crave attention. We can maintain um, 200 to 250 animals at any given time, and those animals have to be fed and you know, taking, we have animals that are coming in around the clock, really. The smell of sewage overtakes this room. The animal waste gets channeled into a small draining pipe that clogs often, flooding the floor and giving employees a headache. They walk in and they pretty much have dealt with a hundred dogs that have relieved themselves during the night. The shelter says this van is on its last leg. It's logged more than 200,000 miles and the tires need to be replaced. Some days the van won't start, some days the air conditioning's not working, and you can't transport a van full of dogs without air conditioning in, in this climate. <laughs> the Humane Society holds about 15 fundraisers every year to come up with the money needed to keep their place open. There's a 5K race tomorrow morning at the Earl Mate Boat Basin Nature Trail that will benefit the shelter. In studio, Stephen G. Mall, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you.